Uh, many times, the kind of programming errors that can lead to paper retraction, uh, wasted money, or worse, are actually rather simple in origin. Uh, for one example, uh, the economics paper by Reinhard Groba uh, made a big impact in 2010 with its dire predictions about debt. Uh, these conclusions were incorporated into public policy here in the United Kingdom and in other countries. It wasn't until nearly three years later uh, that a graduate student noticed that the conclusions were based on a faulty program uh, in the form of an Excel spreadsheet, the one picture, in fact, uh, with swap columns and missing numbers, invalidating the results. Another, even more spectacular loss occurred when the NASA Mars Climate Orbiter satellite uh, failed insertion into the Martian orbit and was lost because ground-based software produced numbers using units of pounds instead of units of newtons, as expected. These are both examples of errors that we have the ability to detect before they cause damage if we can only bring the right tools to where they are needed most. So we are working on the Camport project, which is intended to bring analysis into Fortran-based computational <laughs> science in an approachable and pragmatic way. Uh, for one example, you can see of how easy it can be. You can see how we annotate uh, units of measure in a Fortran program uh, at the bottom there. Uh, these annotations can be automatically checked for correctness and even generated partially uh, from context. And there are many other things you can do with this tool, and we hope to add many more still. Uh, to this end, we are always looking for collaborations with scientists interested in this tool and its various uses. Uh, my name is Matthew Danish, and I'll be happy to talk with you about it afterwards.